That case came back to me as I read this book over the summer, Al Gore's new book, The Assault on Reason, which has many virtues and some flaws. But one of the most interesting virtues is the constitutional brief he assembles for why there is a powerful argument in favor of impeachment of this man. Not because of the politics of Democrats versus Republicans, but because of the constitutional politics of the exercise this man has had over the power of the presidency relative to the commands of the Constitution. Gore collects in the most compelling way imaginable an argument that it's hard for any constitutional scholar to read and not feel deeply troubled about. Never in the history of this republic, not in the Civil War, not in World War II, has a president exercised power as far from the framers intent as this president has. Yet what's striking about this book is that like the trial court in the Boy Choir case, his focus is solely on the pathological. He never once steps back and asks about the responsibility of those on the outside, in particular the Democrats, who have done nothing to challenge this constitutional excess by this president. He focuses on the one who can't reform. He is committed to this program and the position he is in. He immunizes in this account the one entity that could do something, indeed the only entity in our constitutional republic who has the authority to do something, the Congress, in response to this excess of power. That's the meaning of the first story I want you to think about, responsibility. Where does responsibility lie? 